lot of questions around fermenting and extracting for good reason. That's probably the most complex part of alchemy is fermenting and extracting. And there are many, many variations of it. So I thought what we would do is just start out with the simplest that you could do. You fall out of bed and you get a ferment. And uh, that starts with a uh, rejuvelac. So a rejuvelac is you get a quart jar, put a half inch of wheat or barley or rye berries in the bottom. You soak them for eight hours. You pour the soak water off and then you add about uh, three quarters of a quart of water and just let that sit for overnight, eight hours. In the morning, you'll see little bubbles will start to form. And what that means is that these little berries are starting to germinate. And then when they germinate, they produce enzymes to digest the food that's in the seed. Those enzymes are what we're after because they make a really good ferment just the way they are. You can drink this. It tastes a little bit like lemon. I take this with the evening meal every day, and it's a great rejuvenator. But it serves as a very good base for making a spray for plants. If it smells like bilge water, don't drink it. The way to prevent that is every time you go to add a little more water to it, you rinse it twice. So there's a little cap on here that allows the water to go through. I rinse it twice, fill it up with water, let it sit for eight hours, drain it off, rinse it twice, let it rest for eight hours. Then rinse it twice, add water, let it work for eight hours, pour that off, rinse it twice, let it rest for eight hours. So typically the way I do it is just overnight, it'll uh, have water on it, and then in the morning I rinse it off and let it rest for most of the day and then add water. That's the simplest way. If it smells bad, it'll probably taste bad, and it's probably not bad for you, but it's an acquired taste for sure. So this smells nice and it's a little cloudy. That means that there are enzymes in it. We're looking for enzymes because the enzymes are the thing that make a ferment. So if I want to make a plant spray, I don't have to do very, very complex things in order to make a plant spray. So if you just want to make a plant spray, just use coconut water and rejuvelac, and by themselves, they will start to form a little film. You can add herbs to that, let it sit for a couple weeks, and then strain it off, and you have a plant spray. If you want to make something that you're going to take as a medicine, then you have to add a little bit of yeast, and I would not use baker's yeast, I would use wine yeast if I want to make a medicine, because the wine yeast has been designed to not taste like bilge water. Suppose it tastes like wine. If you if you try to drink the the substance, the the juice that comes from the when you put baker's yeast in there, it tastes kind of like acetone. It's a very acquired taste, also. So there are a lot of questions about this, but they have to do with well, what do you want? If you want to make wine, don't use baker's yeast. Don't use rejuvelac. Don't use coconut water. If you want to make meat, don't use any of that. <laughs> you have to go through a whole process of uh, malting the grain and doing all that kind of stuff. So if you just want to make a plant spray, the real bottom line is coconut water and rejuvelac just by themselves. Wait till it forms a little film, then add the herbs and put it on a shelf for a couple weeks and it'll ferment and extract from the herbs what the plants need for a spray. The plants don't have a tongue, so they don't really care about the taste too much. Some of the stuff you would put on a plant you would not want to have on your dinner plate, kind of like horse manure, things like that. <laughs> so the questions that I often get are about, well, how long should I take it and what exact temperature? Those types of things have to do with if you're going to take it internally. If 
You're going to take it internally. You have to sterilize everything. You have to really select the yeast. I, I make mead, and when I do, I'm a kind of a crazy person about sterilizing things because I eventually would like to have some mead that I can make a tonic from. In order to do that, it's a very complex process. We have other videos around that, but if you just want to make a plant spray, simpler is better. Mm -hmm.